Joe, what's this season been like for you in terms of your personal progress compared to maybe a year ago? Yeah, I think for me it's just been building confidence, you know, snap in and snap out, and really breaking on the film every practice, every game, seeing what I have to work on. And I think for me, my biggest focus has been working on uh, my footwork, making sure that's sound and everything I do, both pass and run, winning the first second, and then also just my hands, making sure I'm being as efficient as possible, trusting my punch in the pa in pass game and getting them where I need it, having them in the run game. Has it been easier this this year, just having the experience of a year ago? Yeah, I think I think experience is definitely huge. It's important, um, but I wouldn't say that's so easier. I just feel like you know, it's confidence as the games go on. You know, you know, when you've been there and just trusting your ability. Where's Harry kind of helped you the most with your game? Yeah, I would definitely say in the full work aspect um, and technique, and just in general. Um, looking back, you know, last year the. Full work has been so important for me this year and just win that first second. That's been so crucial, I think, in his coaching for me. Um, getting, when, like I said, winning that first second has been so important for me. And then um, in the past game, just utilizing my punch, getting into, getting into the same position where I'm in between the quarterback, or in between the, the DN and the quarterback, and then just using my punch and just finishing blocks. Anything else for Joe? Joe, what do you expect the atmosphere to be like on uh, on Saturday and how important is it for you guys to, to kind of be in the, the proper mindset? Yeah, I, we know, you know it's going to be a dome, so you know the sound's not going to leave the stadium as much as it's going to be loud. Um, I think it's crucial for us, you know, work the sound and snap count this week, we're ready for all the noise, be prepared for it um, this week, so when we go in to just like, know that it's going to be there and uh, perform our best. Does it add anything to play like a ranked team and sort of like prove it aspect to it? Mm -hmm. Sorry, what was the question? Does it add anything for them being like a ranked team with it being like a prove it aspect? I would say just for us, it's more about us and just what, what do we see on the film, what are they doing, and how are we going to develop our scheme this week and play the best as the offensive line, five as one, see what we're going to see and perform our best. What has been the atmosphere that's been created here to not only make sure that you guys are ready for a noon game, but to play in that type of atmosphere? What's the preparation been like? Yeah, for us, you know, like I said, it's not like snap count's key. You know, it's going to be loud, so communication going to be tough. You know, we pump in some music just to know that it's going to be loud there. So, you know, communication going to be tough, so we want to have that here and know that going in. So just being able to know that, you know, you're not just really yelling. You have to look at the guy and tap him so he knows what's, what's going on. As the guys that lead the, as the guy that leads the way for your running backs, you know, to, what do you, did you guys say anything to guys like Audrey Estime when, you know, he's had, you know, some struggles with holding on to the ball? You guys say anything to pick him up? Uh, no, I just think we have uh, so much faith in Audrey that he's going to run the ball hard and we know that. So for us, you know, it's just building confidence. Our, Building trust as the offensive line, knowing that he's going to be able to run behind us. He knows he can. Just be confident, run the ball, and we know, we know he's going to do great. What are the challenges Syracuse's defensive front um, brings to you guys in the linebackers? Yeah, you know, the, the film, they showed a lot of movement, you know, a lot of games and stuff like that. So we just got to make sure we're feeding underneath us, we're seeing, uh, seeing the alignments and, uh, you know, attacking the proper way. Not necessarily flying off the ball too much, but making sure we're feeding underneath us. Uh, switching off the movement and building that wall that we always talk about. Ran the ball really effectively this past week. Does it feel better from an O-line perspective to make a lot of like, short chipping away runs or break off the big one? I mean, I think they're both great. I think the biggest thing for us is just building confidence and being able to run the ball. And you know, for us, it's when a team can't stop the run, it just you know builds so much confidence in the offensive line. You feel so feel so good about that. So I think it's I don't think it's necessarily like a short run or a big run. It's just knowing that. <laughs> You know, when a, when a defense can't stop the run on you, you're, you're building confidence and you're going to go in the right direction. You look at the, uh, the red zone efficiency, the efficiency that the defense have, has had. How do you guys plan to, uh, I guess, attack that and throw off the efficiency um, in the red zone as an offensive line? Yeah, as an offensive line, I think the biggest thing for us is just playing five as one, like I said, handling their movements up front in both the pass and the run game. And when we get on, guys, just use our strength and try to move guys the best we can. Who's the tougher grader, Coach Easton or your dad? They're both pretty tough, no doubt. Uh, they both, you know, they grade differently. They have very similar mindsets and how they grade, but uh, I would say they're very similar in how they grade. Who gives the better grade, Corey? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It depends. You know, they both they both have specific things that they look for. Um, I, I would say they're very very similar in grading. My dad's pretty tough on me, um, so I say they're very similar. Actually, I don't I don't think there's one that takes that takes uh, one or the other. Anything else for Joe? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.